from the play. You wanna make papes or what? Stay laced with bucks and chasing slugs. Who me? It's time to stand on my feet. Would you people just wake up out of a coma? Let's go! Come on, peg legs, let's move it! Ain't got all day! Sorry, the fastest beat win. Got it! Thank you. Thank you very much. Got it! Got it! What? Got it! Thank you! Thank you very much. For nothing. Ah! Move it! Hey, 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 huh? People scootering! Fine. I don't want to be treated like this anymore. It is over. Goodbye. Have a nice life! Hey, are you okay? Yeah, fine. I just, um, just broke up with my boyfriend, that's all. Oh, that's always so tough. Yeah. How long were you two together? Oh. Well, we uh, never really made it official, so I guess technically we weren't really boyfriend-girlfriend, but uh, <laughs> I was seeing him in school. <laughs> well, I saw him at the mall six months ago, and whew, I was way too nervous to go up and introduce myself. So, you know, I just followed him to the parking lot and jot down his license plate number, <laughs> which ended up being registered to his mother. So I just went on over to her house and, oh, let me tell you, she was so nice. Really? <laughs> well, I mean, she, she seemed like she probably would be nice, because I never really spoke to her. Look, I just waited till she went to work, and I climbed in through a window, and I borrowed her phone book. And I say borrow, because I'm going to give it back one day, you know. <laughs> anyway, I just called everyone in the book until I found her son. And then I called him, but he wasn't home, so oof. I left this message just telling him how in love with him I was. I mean, I just really, really wanted to have his children. You know, just basically opening up to him and stuff, but he never called me back. So I would call and call and anyway, six months and two restraining orders later, I decided I deserve better than that, you know? So what about you, you got a boyfriend? No, I haven't really dated in a while. Oh you my know? God, there's my friend Brenda. He tried to kill me. What, y'all never played that game before? It's old school. <laughs> Fuck y'all, man. Dude, look out. Oh, oh my god, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I wasn't watching where I was my going. Bad. Ray, what are you doing here? It's the sequel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, Cindy, uh, about all that stuff that happened back in the day, let's just forget about it. Try and move on, huh? I am. So just do me a favor and stay away from me. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Ray. You stay away from me, too! Crazy bitch, I don't know you. <laughs> the house was built in 1898 by a man named Archibald Keaton as a gift to his wife, Cora. Uh, I, I, I can feel these spirits. Yeah, I'm telling you. Da, 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 da. Cora Keaton, it's Brenda. I'm here to communicate with you. No, 
They sold the house in 1920 to a millionaire, Uriah Bloodworth. Yes, that's who I meant! Uriah! Ooh! Ha-da-ta-ta-ta! Ha-da-ta! Ah! Uh-uh! No, he lost the house after the stock market crash. So he broke! He broke, y'all! You know he mad! He mad he had to leave the house! <gasps> There's nothing more evil than a broke-ass man! He's not dead, you idiot! He's alive and well, and playing Park Cheesy in Florida. Now shut the fuck up and let me get on with the story! Fuck him up, Ray! Anyway, the last owner of the house was a very rich man named Hugh Kane, who built his empire on the blood and sweat of the people of this town. He lived like a king. But he died alone. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but it's some shit that he ain't telling us. It's some real evil shit going on in this house, and I can feel it. It's in this piano. It's in this. Oh, 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 Burns. The guns must have been empty. Get her upstairs. Oh, no. oh, right. Don't put it in my body. Don't put it in my body. Maybe this house is possessed. Oh, nonsense. What you just witnessed was psychosomatic, purely self induced reaction brought on by hysteria. Now, why don't you all go and get some rest? Tomorrow. We start testing. <laughs> yes. The group is responding beyond expectations. Cindy and Brenda seem to be the most susceptible to suggestions of horror. Brenda exhibiting both delusion and hysteria. Group fear should manifest itself and intensify as the night progresses. Professor, professor, professor. What, what, what? I think you should see this. What is it? Is it titties? Is it, um, what? Is it pussy? What? No. They're tapes of the living room. Here, that image there. Are you sure it's not on the tape? No, I, I don't think so. It's on all the cameras. And check this out. The thermal readings inside the house dropped 10 degrees when this image was recorded. Oh, congratulations, Dwight. It's begun. <laughs> 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 Little birdie, come here. You poor thing. Oh, Cindy, what happened to the little bird? It died? Yeah, I don't know what else to do with him. Well, don't flush it down the toilet, Cindy. Here, I got a better idea. You do? Yeah. Mmm. 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 That was a good idea, Shorty. Hell yeah, I told you. Mm. A little bit of hot sauce, that little bird tastes just like chicken, son. Mm. Ooh, you gotta eat this part right here. Get up in there and get that gristle. Mm. Ah. 
<laughs> Did you do that? Uh uh. You better go tell Dwight and the professor to come here. Okay. Now check this out. Professor, you have to see this. Dwight, come here. Hey, hey, what, what are you doing? <sighs> Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Wasn't that amazing? It must be some kind of energy field. We'd better record this. No, I don't. I got this L for this one. Ah, um, oh. All right. Wait. Okay. Well, no. Yeah. Wait. Oh. This is fantastic. Now, you two better get some sleep. I bit my this is going to be a great weekend. Dwight and I will take it from here. Ready, Dwight? Wait. Oh.